So you want the booty, well guess what? You gotta build the booty. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you the difference between knee squats and booty squats. Now the difference between the two is one is gonna be more quad dominant and one is gonna be more glute dominant. And I'm gonna show you today the difference between the two so that the next time you do squats, I want you to assess yourself and see which one you are. When it comes to performing the different types of squats, I find that holding the dumbbell actually makes a big difference. So when it comes to doing goblet squats up here, you're actually changing your center of gravity. So as soon as you put this weight up top, the center of gravity shifts and then it makes it a little bit harder to make it a booty squat. And naturally people tend to get more into the quad dominant squat. Now let me show you what the difference between the two are. So the quad dominant squat is gonna happen when the knees are kind of coming over top of the toes. So if you see that your knees are going over top, yes, you have a flat back, but what ends up happening is there's more of an angle in between the quad and the shins. And so if you can see, it's more of a triangle when I squat down and it's getting more into the, into the quads. Now when it comes to the glutes, what you wanna do is arch your back and you should feel that bit of a tension into your low spine and you wanna stick your booty back and keep it high. So you should actually feel tension into your hips. The difference between the two, when I squat down, I feel it burning into my quads. When I go into that kind of, and I'm over exaggerating it, the knees over toe squats, that's gonna happen more into the quads. Now when I stick my booty back and high, I'm actually feeling that into my hips. So the difference, quad dominant, glute dominant. Now when it comes to holding this dumbbell, again, you got your goblet style squats. So when you squat down, you're naturally going to drop that weight down in front of the knees and it's gonna make it more quad dominant. So when you do the goblet squats, what you wanna do is stick your booty back and keep it high. And when you go down, you should actually feel almost a little bit of pinching into the front hips here, okay? It's called your tensor fasciolata. It's kind of like right into the front. It's gonna pinch right into that area because your butt is high and you're putting pressure into that front thigh. Now, when it comes to squats, I know we like to hold the squats here where the dumbbell's in the middle or kettlebell, but again, the center of gravity is more focused on front of the knees, and as such, the knees are gonna be the more dominant muscle action, and everything that crosses it, it's gonna be into the quads. So what I like to do is get the weight, hold it like this, and then this way when I sit down, I'm able to bring that weight back a little bit. So even if you're using a kettlebell, you can actually bring that kettlebell back so it's closer to your heels versus it being out front into your toes. So again, bring that weight back and almost force it so that it goes behind your heels, almost like as if you're playing football. You ever see those linemen where they got the ball like this and then they drop that ball so it's coming through the hips, right? So they're gonna push it right through the hips into the butt. Get this weight close to the heels, stick your booty high, arch your back, and you should feel that tension high into the thighs. So again, if you want to build your quads, then you want to get the knees over toes, you want your weight to be over and in front of your center of gravity. If you want to work on the booty, you want to have your hips high, arched back, and then feel that tension into the high thigh, and then bring that weight so it's almost back behind the heels. Now they don't have to go all the way to the heels, but what I'm trying to say is don't have the weight out front because that's gonna be more quad dominant. Have the weight out back, just like as if you're a football player, and drive through the hips. So there we have it guys, quads versus booty squats. The next time that you do a workout, look in the mirror, look at if your knees are going over top of your toes, or if you're actually sticking that booty back like a football lineman. If you love today's video, give it a like guys. Make sure that you've already subscribed. And if you're looking for awesome on the blue coaching from us, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the five day challenge.